sure. It's, it's awesome. You have to see this. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah. Welcome to With Burpee Museum's pot. Ecosystem in a Jar. Pot. Hi, I'm Ann Warda, and I am the Executive Director of Burpee Museum of Natural History. I'm really excited to show you this cool activity that you can do just out in your own backyard or in a local neighborhood park. We collected some of these specimens from our local park. So here's what we started off with. So we put together some Tupperware, some mason jars, and headed out with our backpacks. We um, looked for places where there might be some interesting ecological specimens. We looked for little ponds from when it rained, little like puddles. We looked for um, some places where there was mosses and grasses. So then we collected some of the items that we found, a very small amount, into our Tupperware so we could go home and set up our ecosystems with some of the different mosses and we grabbed dirt and we grabbed some of the water to make sure we sampled lots of microorganisms in the puddles to kind of see what we found living in the park nearby our house. Look at this puddle. Okay, look, there's a snail over there, right there. And then there's little guys just swimming around. Watch, here's one on the side. Here's another big snail. Um, we loaded up our backpacks, observed a few more snails and uh, different macro invertebrates that we could easily see with our eyes swimming around in these puddles wild. right by our right, we're gonna home. Not take a sample of this. We're just gonna look at it. I can't take a sample. Because we all of our sample bins are full. But look at all those guys running around. Be real still and look at the, they look like little specks of sand. So once we had those materials put together, it was time to set up our ecosystems back at the house. These ecosystems are self-contained because if the um, animals start producing CO2, the plants are producing O2, um, it should be relatively well oxygenated. I do suggest adding dechlorinated water so that you're not only using the murky water that you collected. Um, my kids were so excited about all the little animals that they could easily see inside of our samples, but also um, over time we started to find new animals that we hadn't originally seen. It, it took about two days before um, it was really clearing up in some of the sample jars enough that we could actually see what was inside um, and start to catalog and take notes on what we saw. So this is a super cool activity. You can do it at home with your kids or your family. Uh, it doesn't take much money to accomplish. You can probably do it with stuff you already have in your home. I hope you check it out and let us know how it worked for you. For those of you looking to extend a little bit, we are including activities and information sheets in the description. So don't miss your opportunity to download more information and try this at home. Yeah,